with Mario Lopez. What's up, y'all? Mario Lopez joining me now on Zoom from the Backstreet Boys, Howie Duro. Welcome to the show, man. How are you? Hey, Mario. Good to see you, man. Hola. Nice How's to see fun? you, too. Backstreet Boys returning to the Vegas Strip this spring. So what makes these shows even more special than a normal tour date? Well, actually, uh, since COVID, uh, we've had to take down the tour for the past two years. So we've been jonesing and get back out. And uh, we just we had a, a great residency in uh, Vegas back in uh, 2017, 18, actually. Uh, very proud to say we uh, were one of the fastest selling residencies there and had some of the biggest crowds nice. at the theater. And so I can't think of a better place to kick off this uh, world tour again uh, than right here in uh, Vegas. And uh, we're excited to be at the Coliseum, a little bit of a different location for us. So we're going to breathe a little bit of fresh air into Vegas. And it's going to kick off the DNA tour. Like I say, uh, Vegas is part of our DNA. So we're excited about being back there. Nice, man. Congrats on that. I was just with my kids in um, Universal Orlando Resort shooting my show, Access Hollywood. And we, yeah, we did. You. Yeah, did you see us over there? Yeah. We did yeah. dance to a Backstreet Boys song. Oh, I didn't see that. I'll think if I can look at that. That's awesome, I man. think it airs this next week when all our uh, episodes. So I thought you'd appreciate that. Okay, right on. Yeah, no, totally. Orlando's my kids were digging in my backyard. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that where you're from originally? I'm, I was actually born and raised in Orlando, and oh, I just live right. right outside on the on the coast, east coast, in a town called Melbourne, Cocoa yeah. Beach area. Joey Fatone's from out there too. Yep, He's I see right Joey there. Fatone every so often. Yeah, you, you run into him every so often. Yep, we actually went to uh, arch rival high schools. Oh, is that right? Our tribal yeah. high schools and our tribal bands. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. we went to him along with uh, Luis Fonzi. Yeah. Phillips, and also Wayne Brady. Is, Lu- is Luis from Orlando? Yep, he's from Orlando as well. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And Wayne yeah. Brady is too? Wayne Brady as well. I was in actually an all state choir with Wayne Brady and did uh, SAG Theater, a uh, little comedy that. improv on the weekends with him. Central and Florida, pumping out the talent right there. Yeah, wow. It's a small town, man. I you like do, what facts. Yeah, you got to do a little bit of everything just to get out there outside of Orlando. And uh, we actually did it. Us four, we actually got outside of Orlando. Oh, that's pretty cool. Glad you shared that there. Um, getting back to the show, uh, there have been rumors of special guests possibly dropping in. Uh, anything you can tease us with? Well, you know, what? Vegas is for us is, is always a place that we love bringing people up on stage because uh, Vegas is, is, is just such an awesome place where there's so many artists you know, at one night, you can probably see about 20 to 30 different artists that are in town performing. So on the off days, what's cool about Vegas is that a lot of times artists will go and see each other's shows. And in the past, we've had everybody from Shania Twain, uh, I was gonna, Steven Tyler, Joey Fatone, Lance Bass, uh, Wayne good. Brady, uh, a bunch of people uh, that have come to the shows. And, and we love it when, the, when those uh, other artists are cool with coming up on stage. It's, you know, it's almost like we pay respect to each other's music. Sure. And like so, so nothing's been planned yet, but I'm sure by the fact that we're there in Vegas, I'm sure there'll be definitely some tricks up our sleeves that we'll, we'll bust out. Yeah, I'm sure the audience is going to appreciate that. And after hitting the road, um, what are you most looking forward to about going on tour? Um, you know what? Since being off for the past two years, um, it's probably the longest I've, I've been off in a long time, uh, probably even before Backstreet. Um, so going on almost 30 years, this is the longest break we've had. So, yeah. uh, I've been probably getting a little stifled here at home. I'm sure my wife is ready for me to get out of the house <laughs> and uh, get back to work. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. So, Space is healthy in America. Yes. Say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the kids are excited. I mean, they're, we're excited every time on, on the, in the summer tour, especially we all take our own buses. Uh, cause this, at this point now we all have families and everything. Sure. So we make it like almost like a little national lampoons vacation. We take the kids yeah. out. And we go, you know, in, in different cities, we're going to different places and going sightseeing and doing cool things, you know, in, in the States as well as in Canada. And then every so often over in Europe, when the kids have the time off from school, we bring them over there. And that's really cool for them because a lot of times, especially my, my oldest one, last time we were there, he was dad. He's like, I'm, I'm like, I'm reading about this stuff right now in yeah. history. That's and cool. Like, it's so cool to be able to, to bring your kids and give them a chance to see part of the world that they probably would have never had the chance to do before. Absolutely. That's super cool. How, how old are the kids now? So my oldest is 12 and my youngest is nine, two boys. Two boys. Okay. And you have a daughter. Closed, that's it? What's that? Shops closed. That's it. Yeah. The wife's like, no, that's it. One, okay. two and one. If we go for a third one, it'll, it'll be her luck. We'll get another boy. Yeah. She'll yeah. yeah. Put me out in the pasture. <laughs> How <laughs> um, you're also part of the real dirty dancing, the show happened to be the first one eliminated though. Right. What, what, was that fair? Yeah, man. You know, there's, it's reality TV. Uh, I definitely gave it a, 
a good swing at it. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I felt really great about it still. Um, you know, not everything made it on the cutting room floor, but, uh, I felt really good about my performances throughout the whole time. And, uh, unfortunately I was, I was eliminated the first round and, uh, but it was like still a really great experience. Uh, I got a chance to meet some great other performers out there that were going to become not now like life, lifelong friends and stuff like that. And the network was really awesome to work with. Um, it was just a cool experience. It's the first time I've ever done like that type of reality type show. Right. And it was definitely me out of my element. Uh, but at, at the same time, I was excited to spread my wings out a little bit and just get out of my comfort zone. Well, good for you taking those chances, man. Well, congratulations yeah. on everything and good luck on the tour. Thanks for hanging out, bro. Good to see you, man. Gracias por todo. Orale. On with Mario Lopez.